Yo, what is going on, Guardians? And welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down some pretty nasty snipes and some nice plays and uh, talking about what I did and why I did what I did. So, uh, I'm going to cut out my audio for just a second and let you see this first uninterrupted clip. It's like 30 seconds long. Then we'll go back, we'll break some of it down. Alrighty, so that was the whole uninterrupted clip. It started out with this nice uh, super shutdown, and uh, you know, I tag him with a headshot. I know I just need to clean it up with a, with a few primary shots. Now, here's the thing: I could take a shot, just a hail mary, but I decide I'd rather take a shot I do have than one I don't. I know this is gonna miss. There's no point in even pulling the trigger, so I'm just gonna go for the the big hail mary play. Stand my ground, wait until the shot is lined up. There's no sense in pulling the trigger if you know it's gonna miss. And so as soon as I come out of that super shutdown, bam, I hear a bygones on the left. I see my teammate is getting tagged by it. So I'm going to reload and slide into the lane, find him and take the shot. So it's important. I, I, I wanted to get underneath those bullets and then take the shot. And then coming out of that snipe, I see on my radar this guy to the right. So as soon as I get up here, I'm going to look to the right. Now this is important. Since I jumped up here, what actually happens is the reticle does this little bounce mechanic, which I, in my opinion, I'm going to be honest, I think is a terrible mechanic. I don't think it belongs in the game. When you fall from, you know, 15 feet, sometimes you're, you do this huge screen shake. It's terrible. And um, it really messes up your shot. And I think that it's a, a dumb mechanic. I wish it wasn't in the game. But you'll notice I, I don't take the shot. I just sit there and I wait for that reticle to come back up. That way I know I'm going to have better accuracy when I do pull the trigger. So wait for the barrel to come back up, then I take the shot. And as soon as I take that shot, I know I'm getting tagged from my left with a recluse. What I do is I slide through this cover, and I use that as an opportunity to switch back to my sniper rifle. So I break line of sight, and while I'm sliding through cover, that's when I swap weapons. I come out the other side with my sniper rifle ready to go. It's got quick draw on it. And, uh, and I also have enhanced um, sniper rifle targeting, so I can, I can scope in pretty quickly with this build. And obviously I have snapshot as well. And I take that body shot to clean the guy up. I come out of that and I uh, still have the sniper rifle up and at the ready. And I'm, at this point I'm feeling pretty confident, I'm feeling pretty gutsy. I know that if I keep this streak alive, it's going to be a clip. I, uh, I decide I'm going to go for this no scope. But when you're going for the no scope, again, same as when I jumped up. Uh, onto the B platform to take that snipe a couple kills ago, same mechanic applies. I have to wait for, well it's not the same mechanic, similar mechanic. I have to wait for the, the barrel of my weapon, the barrel of my sniper rifle to come up. So you see I, I don't go for that no scope just yet. I'm waiting on the barrel, the tip of my gun to come up. Because if I take that shot too early, it's just going to go into heckin' nowhere. So I wait for the barrel to come up. Then I can make my adjustment and take my no scope. I have Icarus on this sniper rifle. It tends to be pretty accurate from the air and it pays off. I go for the melee, but he backpedals me. So I just swap to uh, the last word again after breaking line of sight, moving through cover. I move through cover and that's when I swap weapons. And then I just get the easy cleanup on the guy. This right here is a. Uh, is a what a 29 a 29 kill streak start to finish in a pretty short amount of time i landed some pretty nice snipes along the way so i figured i would toss this in here as well and break down a couple of key moments that led to me having such a nice streak on such a chaotic map now uh at this point you can see i'm i'm hard scoping this because i know there's someone coming around the corner i take the shot but even though it's a headshot you'll notice that i instantly break line of sight and swap to my primary take the shot break line of sight swap to the primary that's because i'm never banking i'm never banking on it being a headshot even if it looks like a headshot and i'm pretty sure it's going to be a headshot i'm always going to try if i can break line of sight but then i'm almost always going to swap to the hand cannon right after you can see that after all these snipes i get in a row here the very first thing i do is swap to the primary weapon as soon as i take the shot and even though they're headshots I'm still swapping to the hand cannon afterwards just in case they're not. Just in case I gotta clean something up. 
Because a lot of times if you stay too committed to your sniper rifle, you know, you take the shot and you think it's a headshot and you don't switch to the primary. Well, guess what? That man's aping you with a shoddy. And for some reason, the game decides, nope, that was a neck shot or whatever, or it misses. Well, you're up the creek without a paddle. If you don't take the time to swap to your primary weapon, you're hosed. And in fact, I'm going to show you in this kill streak. Bam! Hey, there's a moment I needed. Uh, I needed to swap. Guy was aping me with a shotgun. I hit the body shot. I jump backwards, clean him up with the primary. That's because I'm in this rhythm, always swapping to the primary weapon after I secure or after I take the shot with the sniper rifle. I'm actually going to show you in this gameplay here. I'm going to I'm going to freeze frame it and show you a couple of shots that, in my opinion, probably should have been headshots, but they didn't register. And so my swapping to the primary weapon is a big deal. And in those instances, it's the it's the one thing that helped keep my streak alive is I wasn't banking on it being a headshot. And luckily, I was prepared. Now, at this point, I do miss a couple of snipes. And so I uh, come around on the flank. I don't want to stand with my team every time because it's you, you see my team was sort of lining up in the hallway. And if I just stand there, then we're all in one spot. They can look in one direction and basically take a shot and they're gonna hit something. So I went on a flanking route instead. At this point, I see that there's a guy hard scope in this hallway and my teammates are sort of feeding it. See, he gets a couple of picks. So I'm gonna kind of play a little bit further back and then go on a pinch route. But then at this point, I see, um, I see my teammates are still getting engaged and the spawns are starting to flip. I don't wanna put myself in between people. So I actually double back slide in and get that quick nice little headshot there now this is the point at which i'm going to showcase something uh, a little funny i did not deserve this kill i wasn't going for this kill what happens is i scope in i see this hunter and i'm gonna swipe and take the shot but what actually happens is he shade steps it breaks my aim assist and this poor sap was in the wrong place at the wrong time because the hunter shade stepped, it broke my aim assist. I ended up with my reticle on this other hunter in the background. Honestly, in the moment, I didn't even see him. I didn't even know he was there. And so when I pulled the trigger and I got a headshot, I was like, what the heck just happened? Wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, so here's one of these moments. Look at this reticle. Look, it's basically on his ear, but you can see that the shot goes wide. It doesn't count it. And I, I get people all, literally all the time who are like, yo, snipers are too forgiving. Uh, it takes no skill. The aim assist is going to do all the work for you. I mean, look at that. This thing is practically on this man's ear. And it's it's saying, nope, that's a miss. And so when I get people who make these complaints, man, y'all got to chill. Look at this. Look at this. In my opinion, if the hitboxes are too big and the aim assist is too great, that's going to count a headshot every time. Now look at this engagement. Similarly, I'm, I'm trying to bait this shotgunner and I set my sights early and sure enough look at where my radical is it's on his chin it's literally on his chin and in my opinion this is a headshot in my opinion when I pull this trigger this man should go down and in fact in the moment I was pretty certain that man was gonna die as soon as I pulled the trigger but guess what like I said earlier I didn't bank on it I switched to the primary I jumped to evade just in case this does not connect i'm still gonna play like it's a miss and that ends up keeping my streak alive so as soon as i pull the trigger swap to the primary and i jump over this rushing shotgunner because i'm always i'm always playing as if the shot will not connect and sure enough it counted it as a body shot so i jumped over his head pulled a 180 and i slapped him in his stupid face and that's what you get for being an ape thank you very much so he's dead and now we move on, we get to keep our streak alive. So these are just some things that I think are worth noting. Uh, a few mechanics in these streaks and in these clips that are worth paying attention to. Uh, one of them being the uh, switching to the primary after taking the shot, that's a big deal. Uh, one of them being waiting for the barrel to come up, waiting for your reticle to recenter itself after you do a, a jump of any kind, right? These are all mechanics that, well, if you get used to being conscious of them, then it's going to lead to a lot of great plays, quite frankly. And you can see how um, time after time after time, in, in one kill streak, all of these things played a factor. So at, at any point in time, my kill streak could have died.
If I stayed too committed to the sniper, if I didn't wait for that reticle to come up, I wasn't patient. If I didn't wait to take a shot that I did have instead of taking a shot that I didn't have, I mean, that kill streak would have been dead in the water. And so it's really important. This is talk, This is, goes back to my previous video about game sense. It's all experience and knowledge informing the way that you play actively on the battlefield. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you enjoyed some of the breakdowns and uh, talking about why I did what I did. Just as a reminder, all these plays are live on stream. And if you, you want to have access to those streams, I now stream over on Facebook. You can actually even watch without having an account. You can create a sort of secret account to keep your identity private if you still choose to do so. And one of the great things about being a supporter... What's up, baby? It keeps what, baby? Rolling? Oh, the chair? Oh, okay. Well, I'll come over there and I'll help you out in just a second, okay? Here, come here a second, baby. Hey. <clears throat> hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting our family. Uh, family. <laughs> Good job, baby. Mwah. All right, get down. I'll come over there and I'll help you. Um, anyways, if you choose to be a supporter on Facebook, one of the things that's unique about it for me, for my arrangement with them, is if you spend the $5 on a subscription like you would on Twitch, the difference is Twitch took 30% of that for me. Facebook takes 0% of that. So you can be a supporter for me on Facebook. It's a great way of supporting me and my family. And I get all of the support for that, and Facebook doesn't take a cut. So even if you don't like Facebook, big deal. Your $5, they don't get jack crap of it. So you are welcome to um, hit that support button over there and become a supporter of mine. It does also give you access to some private uh, subscription only videos that I do upload there. So thanks for watching the video. I hope to catch you in the crucible. Bye-bye.